One of our main goals is to be proactive to help our clients maintain the highest possible amount of uptime. One of the best things we can do for our clients is to spot things before they happen. And having a tool that allows us to get as much possible information allows us to forecast and detect issues when they're small before they become a major issue or interruption for a client. Mostly what I generally work on is the maintenance part, making sure everything's running smoothly. And if it is not running smoothly, making sure there's minimal client impact, you know, minimal business impact. So we don't, basically we don't want any of our clients to go down. One of the biggest problems that we've had so far is trying to narrow down where, where, any, where a network fails. So say if you know, a firewall goes down, we, we don't know which firewall went down, um, or if a switch goes down, we don't know which switch goes down. So Avic definitely helps us try to pinpoint and know exactly where, where a network's going down and exactly how we can bring it back up to fix it. Compared to other network tools that we've, that we've used in the past, Avic is more, more versatile. For the network monitoring side, we basically use it for any type of you know, network alerting and anomalies. So say if clients are you know, adding things to their network without our knowledge, we at least know, hey, this, this new device has been added and you know, we can get full, full configuration statistics. Whereas the data collection, we use it to sync basically all our configurations that is, gets picked up from Avic into our PSA, which basically is our main database for all the information of all our networking equipment, server equipment. Avic really helps us, especially our remote service team, when they're trying to diagnose and understand where certain pieces of network equipment are. It allows them to go down to the end user's PC and trace what the uplinks are. With everybody in our office having access to Avic, it's drastically cut down our ticket resolution time. Anybody in our office has the ability to go in and quickly do a network map and understand how any piece of equipment at any client is connected. So that can go from what iPhone is connected to what access point to what PC is connected to what switch. Even if maybe we're trying to troubleshoot a bad cable or a bad link and we're able to act on the information immediately providing new information to clients that we didn't have previously, and that cuts down troubleshooting time significantly. Our decision to purchase Avic was an easy one because it offered a lot of functionality that we had been looking for for a while. Anytime you're making a big change, you're always concerned about causing any disruption or impact to the client or your system. The whole process of rolling Avic out only took two weeks, and it was seamless to the clients, and it gave us our information very quickly. Since using Avic for our onboarding process, it's taken a lot of what was a manual process and automated it. If you're looking to switch network monitoring tools, I would strongly look at Avic based off of the amount of time you'll save, greater efficiency, the ticket management, the configuration management, the network mapping, configurations being automatically backed up. Network Doctor's goals over the next 12 months are to create uh, efficiencies and improve on process. Avic is going to help us become more efficient by being able to eliminate a lot of excess chatter from our reports and also be able to give us actionable information and only specific information that we want.